Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to the domain. We're on our Halo Infinite spree now. We're gonna open some Halo Infinite sets and I haven't actually decided which one to unbox yet. I think I'm gonna go for Bizarre Battlegrounds though because it does look like a super nice set. First of all, very clean packaging. I love these kind of armory packs. They did some really good ones uh, the previous year. You get like a turret and a barricade and you can use both of them to make alternate mongooses. Or mongoose, so that's a gungoose and that's, uh, I think it's the same just with different colors um, but yeah you can do that if you can actually get hold of both these sets and the mongoose outriders which if you can well done i have a assortment of armory pieces with me. so hopefully we're going to be able to build up the actual like full thing and mega actually sent me this armory box quite recently so anything we're missing i think we'll be able to pad together these two armors here look at that so this is the zen zendaya zendaya something i'll put it on the screen and this is the mark 7 and they both look really lovely. I, I I do like that white helmet, sort of just a very stark contrast to the rest. They are, yeah, they're just, they're just basic Spartans for now, you know, but we're gonna deck them out. We're gonna do some really fun stuff with them. Let's first see what actual pieces we have for today. I'm really excited about quite a few of these things in here, but first we're gonna actually have to try and get this thing open, goodness me. One of the fun additions of this set is the inclusion of AI. Artificial intelligence, but not the scary kind. The ones that crack jokes while you're killing people in a simulation. Gosh, this is all packed in really tight. Goodness me, right. Get out of there, jeez. Get that right up in the macro lens. I think this is Fret and Cirque. Cirque is the obvious one. You can buy really cool fleshed out versions on things like Etsy. That is really nice. The first time I've ever had the Pulse Carbine in my hands. Shame it doesn't have the spinning drum like some others do, but yeah, this is really nice, Pulse Carbine. And we've got the new remolded sidekick. Mega do seem to have noticeably stepped it up in their new mold budget. So we got the Pulse Carbine and we got the brand new Sidekick. We do also get the Plasma Pistol and a Bulldog Shotgun. And we do have ways to display these AIs as well. Let's quickly get into that. Yeah, so they clip on simply onto a translucent peg. Make some little banterous remarks to you while you're on the battlefield. They're just fun. They're basic, but they're fun. They do the job, but they could be more. I've always been a big fan of the, uh, the the alt builds, in my opinion, they never really take away from the build. They only just extend it and make it a little more interesting. And it is quite literally a stroke of genius to um, actually have the Mongoose Outriders compatible with this. Look at that, that's cute. That's cute, I like that. Right, so we've got a lot of extra armor pieces here. The Trailblazer, Commander Agrina's helmet, Kelly helmet. I guess it's kind of Halo Infinite and yeah, a Anubis. So what I've got is a load of different just pieces. Okay, so we're gonna start with this sort of like human survivor. This was just some spare bits I had lying around. And we'll give it this little grenade belt. That's kind of fun. Put on one of these big old shoulders and a smaller shoulder. We're gonna put a pause on that Kelly for now. Commander a greener helmet. Now we've got an extra chest. Already looking better. The white hips sort of complement one of the white helmets. These desert legs that uh, I got from this uh, mega toolkit. I'm gonna go a bit more covert up. That's our Anubis. We've got a cybernetic arm, so we're gonna pop that on this one. The rest of this lime green armor on. And I guess, you know what? I'm gonna pop this off again because the lime green goes with the white helmets. So we're actually gonna have this white pelvis on this one. Yeah, okay. With the cybernetic arm and the other green arm. Hey, that's looking good. I like that. And some green legs. That's an easy one. A desert one remaining. There's an extra belt from a piece kit. Pop that on. This is Fred's knife arm, so I think that works nicely with it. The uh, remaining helmet we've got is this trailblazer. We're gonna have blue arms. One and two. These uh, blue arms were just lying around in my piece collection. Yeah, nice blue belt. We'll have this brighter blue belt. And some blue legs. Oversized shoulder. Completes our trailblazer look. Ladies and gentlemen, with just a little bit of work, we have have our collection here. Tactical sort of marine survivor. Trailblazer, Anubis, the new one, whatever it's called, Spana Greener, the Mark 7. And that is all from one pack. I mean, obviously, granted, we used a lot of spares. We still made a really dope fire team. I'm gonna tinker around with these a bit more, but uh, they're generally, you know, I'm generally satisfied with these. Let me know down below what you think of my quick little pop and swaps, and join me next time for another go with the decisive engagement pack. Thank you very much for tuning in. This was another video with the domain. You stay awesome, you stay safe. And the little gun goose turret thing is signing off.
Sleep space drives obliterated. We don't have the time. Over there's another. Shattered and cratered over a kilometer. In there. The last one. All of it. 